April 3rd, Dumbo. Here's a job for you, Dumbo. It had been a hard day for little Dumbo. It was bad enough that everyone made fun of his ears, but now they had put his mother in a cage. What made things even worse was that Dumbo didn't have anything to do. It seemed that he was the only creature in the circus who didn't have a purpose. Dumbo heaved a sigh and went for a walk through the circus tents. Soon he found himself among the refreshment stands. Everyone there had a job too. Some were squeezing lemons to make lemonade. Others were popping popcorn or roasting peanuts. Wonderful smells filled the air. Finally, Dumbo came to a little cotton candy wagon. Dumbo wanted a taste, but there was so there were so many customers that he couldn't get close enough. Suddenly, Dumbo heard a loud buzzing. Then all the customers waved their hands over their heads and ran away from the wagon. The smell of sugar had attracted a swarm of nasty flies. Dumbo reached out his trunk to smell the delicious cotton candy. Not you, Dumbo, the cotton candy man cried. It's bad enough chasing away flies. Do I have to chase away elephants too? Poor Dumbo was startled. With a snort, he sucked cotton candy right up his nose. Hachoo! When he sneezed, Dumbo's ears flapped and something amazing happened. Remarkable, the cotton candy man cried. All the flies are gone. They think your ears are giant fly swatters. The cotton candy man patted Dumbo's head. How would you like a job? Dumbo nodded enthusiastically and set to waving his ears. Soon the cotton candy wagon was the most popular refreshment stand in the circus and had the fewest flies. But best of all, Dumbo now had something to do to take his mind off his troubles. He was still sad, but things didn't seem quite so bad. And who knew? Perhaps soon he'd have his mother back. I wonder what other amazing things those big ears can do, said the cotton candy man, giving Dumbo a friendly smile. I'll bet they carry you far. How about that? Well, have a great day now.